Maybe I will. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh! Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Whoa! What is up fellas? Humble fishing back at again with another video. Today we're on the beautiful Northern California coast in search of some Cromer steelhead. So we're gonna be in the boat using plugs, float rigs, drift rigs, maybe some spitters and spoons, but whatever's gonna catch the fish, we're gonna use it. So stay tuned. Hopefully we can get on some fish. If you're watching this, we got on some fish. So as you can see right here, we have a plug deep down in this little slot. And we're just slowly working down the bank and presenting that plug to these fish. And these fish don't necessarily want to eat that thing, but they get really aggressive when that thing wobbles right in front of their face. And so that's what we're trying to do, present it right in front of them. And hopefully that triggers them to bite and we'll hook up. Yeah, that looks good in there. Drop him down. Plug fish on. Fish on oh. on the plug. Let's go. Still on? Keep keep reeling. Keep reeling. Yeah, he's on. He's on. So he was taking a fat run at the start there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Jeez. God, oh. There we go. No. Hey. Let's go. Yeah, Mitchell. Hey, like 3 p.m. plug bite. Yeah. Woo! It's right there. Oh, it's a fat wow. Whoa. Is it? So pretty. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. He's coming around. Here. Oh! Hell yeah! Whoa! Hell yeah! Hey! Yeah! What? What? Dr. Death. Oh. You get a picture. Oh my God. Such a beautiful this wild fish. This is what fish. I've been looking waiting for all year. So <laughs> the indicator that it's a wild fish is this fin right here. It's called the adipose fin. And they cut that when it's hatchery origin. And so we're gonna release this fish to spawn in the wild and create more Damn. wonderful, beautiful chrome fish. Yeah. So Mitchell here just landed a fat chrome wild fish on the plug and it fought really nice. So we're gonna get back out on the water get some plugs back in and try to catch some more. So we just hopped out of the boat for a sec to fish this section from the shore. So I'm using this little glow bug right here, just a little yarny, and that's imitating an egg. And I also have this half ounce bouncing Betty with a swivel right there. And I have about a three foot leader. It's very clear water right now. And so I'm gonna cast upstream a little bit, about 45 degrees and let it drift down till it's even with me. And then a little bit more, and once it gets too shallow, I'm gonna reel it back in, do the same thing again. So, there we go. Now we keep the rod 45 degrees up like that, and we're waiting for any kind of pull because right now, as it knocks along the bottom, you're just feeling little bumps. But any kind of pull, you want to set that hook because it's either a fish or a snag. And so, and you see it's, it's even with me and now it's a little lower and now it's at that angle. It's too shallow water down there. So we reel it in and do the same thing again. 
So I'm going to keep tension this whole time. And I'm going to reel in a tiny bit if I get any slack. So we're in the boat right now and I got a soft bead and some row on there with a half ounce bouncing Betty. So I'm going to cast this across and up. As the boat goes down, we'll have a nice drift. Maybe I will. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh! Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Fish on, oh shit. Get over there, get over there. Oh shit. Oh my god. Yeah. Get, hey, just get below this snag and we're good. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there he is. He's right here. Oh. Whoa! Oh yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Fish, baby. Let's go! Yeah. Let's go! Oh my god. Wild? Yeah, yeah, I think. Wild. Oh, beautiful fish. That thing fought so hard. I thought I was gonna lose it. Oh, look at him. Here. Get the hook out of him. There it goes. Hooks out. And this is a soft style landing net, so it's made out of rubber, so he's not getting hurt in there. Very gentle on the fish. I recommend these net kind of nets here. Okay. Amazing. Oh, that is a beautiful fish. Holy nice. Okay. Beautiful fish. Okay. Just back in the water. She goes. Yeah. <laughs> So, after a long day of drifting down this wonderful river, we caught two wild Cromer steelhead. One was on the plug, the other was on the soft bead, and they fought great. We had a great day of fishing, and just remember, you can come down to the river and do this yourself. I mean, it's simple as that. You don't really have to have a boat. You can fish from the shore, you use beads, bouncing beddies, and a leader from two to six feet long, and you will catch steelhead. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to anyone you think would like it. Until then, peace out.